Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today's the day. We're gonna try to get enough EXP to upgrade our headquarters. It's a pretty easy task. All I need to do, um, let's see, I need like 100 EXP, so I need to upgrade a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna upgrade, try to get my two gold storages to nine today, and then I'm gonna get my last gold storage Probably while my headquarters is upgrading, I'll do a small upgrade, get something that gives me like 20 EXP or something, and uh, then we can start building HQ 14, which gives us smoke, which is what we want, and then I'll stop using tanks on this account for a bit, because you guys are probably getting a little tired of tanks, and I am too. They're fun and all, but, uh, and strong, they're very strong, they're very overpowered at this level. I don't know why they don't do more, um, just balancing in the game. I feel like tanks are just a little too overpowered, but you know what? I'm not a defensive player, so I really don't care if I get hit by players. So it's to my advantage that tanks are very overpowered. And maybe you guys share different opinions about tanks. At least at a lower level, they're by far the best troop to use. So what I use okay I got all my landing crabs up to 17 which was a big account not not level 17 storage capacity 17 I don't know what level that translates to but I'm very excited about that because it was expensive upgrades it wasn't cheap it was uh, more expensive than the gold storage is so the gold storage is should be a walk in the park so after you do six big upgrades like that, you know, the rest is all easy. Stage two goes down. The main goal of Dr. T is loot, obviously, but also just correcting, collecting uh, dark, dark stuff so I can build better statues. He can well land on the left-hand side like this and completely avoid that big clump of buildings. Honestly, if my troops go down there, it's not a big deal. But we are gonna take out the shock launcher. That was kind of a mistake. Should've just shocked it or something. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll shock it. Keep it from hitting us. Get some riflemen out in front of me. Yeah, because all of these buildings are basically free, so it really doesn't matter. Take down, take down the rocket launcher. I'm a little worried, but on, oh shoot, that was a mistake. On this side over here, mainly the cannon. No, we're good, <laughs> we're so good. Yeah, we'll flare to the cannon. I know I'm bringing up these troops, but it's fine, because I just want to hit the headquarters. Don't know if destroying buildings over here was better than just flaring to the headquarters. So we're just gonna flare to the headquarters. Because if you think about it, one okay one tank fires probably to destroy one of these buildings maybe that one a couple build a couple tanks but like that little storage or that little goo vat there was it a storage vat that little goo vat um required one tank to hit it probably so it, to utilize our full firepower i flared to the headquarters this is an easy one okay Let's for, we're gonna for sure do this. This is gonna be sweet. Destroying stage four. It's really cool. And plus we have the cryobound still. Holy crap, that is dealing damage. These are really high level uh, defenses and these are hurting me. Okay. I need that, I need that flame to go down, man. Okay, flare. Do this again. I'm gonna lose a few. This is not good. Okay, flare to the, the sniper tower. Take down the sniper tower. And then we'll flare up again. Do I lose any yet? I haven't lost any yet, which is good. I might lose one to the cannon. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. Not the time battle, which I should be able to do. You know. There have been times in the past where I've gotten to stage 4 and I couldn't defeat stage 4 because I was a time battle.
but my tanks are upgraded a lot more. I have more tanks, so I think we'll be able to do it. Cool. We defeated stage four. You know, it only took about a minute or something. I'm so happy. Defeating stage four is a huge accomplishment, for me at least. Um, but to be fair, that was a pretty easy stage four. And yeah, there's no way we can defeat stage five. Okay, let's see how much these this. Let's see how much these storages cost. We need eighty-eight thousand more wood. Can I? Uh, it's my trader. Okay, I could buy wood, but I kind of want gold to. I need to start using my gold for stuff because I've been upgrading in my armory, but I still need to do. I still need to remove a lot of clouds. A lot of clouds. So, I'm gonna... You know, might hit that one boom mine. <laughs> that, would, that would be stupid. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, we did hit the boom mine. We'll take down the boom cannon. Take down the other boom cannon. Artillery is so strong. Yeah, I was saying I, I need to... Uh, start clearing my clouds because my clouds are building up you know I upgrade my armories I mean I upgrade my radar so much so uh, I actually need to start doing that and buying my clouds so I can explore more of my archipelago if you will. okay as soon as that cannon goes down flare up here a bit just don't really want to mess with the sniper towers I'll just hit the core. Eternity. Did it not last for an eternity? Okay, here we go. This guy will give me some good... Some very, very good wood. Um, let's talk about upgrades a bit, because I've been spending a lot of time upgrading my landing crabs, and I kind of want to explain my thought process behind upgrading those one because I see a lot of new players asking why upgrade your landing crabs when it doesn't give you anything new. And that's especially true if you're a tank user. Once you get to that 16 storage capacity, the next tank, ooh, I did not see that boom cannon. The next tank to add to your boat would be when you get to 24 storage capacity, which is a lot later, a lot later. So I see that um, as a tank user. But if you ever want to switch combinations, it's nice to be able to, and still be able to load up a lot of troops. So let's say a tank, our base is a very big anti-tank base, and you can't defeat it using tanks. But the problem with very, very good anti-tank bases is they're usually very, very easy warrior or smoky zuka bases. So if you look at it that way, where you need to um, take down a certain base, but you can't using tanks, upgrading your landing crafts is nice because then you could just switch over. But um, of course, it's an extra thing if you're if you're solely a tank user. On the downside is the downside is once you get to the point where you can upgrade your landing crafts, you have the potential to upgrade your landing crafts to fit three tanks. You need to upgrade your landing crafts like six levels or something. Eight, eight levels so I mean I see that but uh, I'm gonna use warriors so I want my landing crabs to be upgraded if that makes sense okay we'll deploy down here I was a little worried I wouldn't be able to upgrade my gold storages because when I say upgrading my gold storages I wouldn't do it when I get to the next headquarter level because I would be oh sorry I would be um, upgrading landing crafts again. I'd be upgrading my armory, my, my sculptor, my gunboat, all of those buildings again. And uh, it would be towards the end of that headquarter level when I would actually get around to upgrading my, my gold storages again. So, I was a little worried, but turns out I need like 100 EXP. So, I'm going to go to those and upgrade those. So, I'm very excited. Here we go. First one. Go into nine. Get half a, Is it half a million in storage? Yeah, half a million in storage, which is nice. There's only ten levels, which is also nice. 
Okay, we're gonna do a couple more bases. We're probably not gonna be able to get to the second one. We can open some crates. That might help us. Crates. Some trader crates. Okay. Um, take down that one also, get a shock or something, the cannons. Ouch, that bottom cannon is going to be a pain. Oh shoot, okay, flare. Yeah, one more hit, we would have lost him. We shouldn't lose him, we should be fine. Unless he decides to do something stupid, like walk to the very front. Hopefully that cannon doesn't fire on him. Should kill Kavan first. Boom. Cool. Let's see where we're at. I'll need a lot more loot, so I might still, I might keep attacking, clear the rest of my map, and uh, then we can get that upgrade going. I'll tell you guys, destroying NPC bases is very, very, very annoying. <laughs> It takes, it takes forever, and they don't get you much loot. It's just, ah, oh, it's so annoying. Okay. Um, kind of want to just do my. Kind of want to just do my dark guardian. So that's what we're gonna do. So I need a lot more loot. Um, let's open some trader crates. Try to get some some wood from them. I just want to get one stack of wood. There was a stack of wood, but that was a very small stack. I want to get that massive eight or seven combo popping. I have a lot of tickets also. That was nice, but no wood. Come on. There we go. That was some wood. That, oh my gosh, that was so much wood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, guys, Trader Crates is the way to go. So I need, I need uh, stone now. It's only a thousand. Okay, we're just gonna gym it up. How it's okay? It's, 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 <laughs> thought it would be cheap. I mean, I need to remove my my boulders eventually, so I might as well do it now, right? Also, could have removed trees, but again, that spends too much, too much gold. Okay, Let's see how much that is now. Nineteen. I really don't want to spend nineteen. I could buy 300,000. <laughs> Just give me a stone. Okay. One more. We'll do one more. Like, I'm gonna spend all this loot. Nobody really attacks me on this account, so it's not a big deal. Let's get it popping. That's how we do it. Not even attack it. And for gold, you know, upgrading a hero would be so cool. Oh, shoot. I did not mean to do that. No. Okay, I guess we are now. Okay, hero nine required, and I'm six? Yeah, six. <sighs> we'll spend the rest of my gold popping one of these. We'll do this one also and have nothing left. Cool. I hope you guys did enjoy the video of a typical day of my starting over account in boom beach i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to drop a like as always and i'll talk to you guys next time bye